All right, so doing a video on the 01 Nissan Sentra. The problem we've got is with the vent selector switch, it will not change from one vent to the other. Um, essentially, we're kind of stuck in the middle. No matter where we put the selector, uh, we don't get any change in any of the air selector um, choices. So um, we're going to go ahead and fix that today, and I will uh, pick you back up once uh, we get uh, prepped, and we'll go ahead and get this fixed. I'll show you how to take care of it. All right, so on the 01 Nissan Sentra, uh, in order to get to the climate control area, we have to pull basically this uh, front bezel out, and it's a little tricky. You kind of got to get your hands back on that small little lip and basically pull out on it, and that will free it up. So you do that on both sides. Just kind of pull out and wiggle. That frees that up, and same thing on the other side. There's not a lot of play on the right side, neither the glove box, but uh, there we go. So we got that out, set that away. Now at this point, we've got screws here and here, and um, we'll go ahead and get those removed. And uh, then we'll see what's next once we get uh, those removed. Um, basically, we got to get behind this panel here in order to get the um, climate control. Actually, the climate control is the left side, which it has the same issue uh, as the event selector. But event selector, in my case, is the one that's bad. Uh, this one's already been repaired, basically using the same procedure. So uh, we're gonna get those screws removed and we'll pick you back up. Okay, so since we've got these two screws removed, you basically just pull on the bottom of this panel from the bottom corners and it will work itself loose. And at that point, you can see you got two screws remaining, one at the top, one at the bottom. At that point, we should be able to get back to the uh, vent selector switch uh, cable and we'll show you why these break and what needs to be fixed Okay, so we've got the screws removed here and this panel looks like it might just come forward But it's actually got a couple retainers in here um, There you can see it so you actually have to push back on it and get that retainer loose and then um, You should be able to work it to where it'll come out Let's see. I know it's possible because I've done it before let's see and what we might have run into this radio actually panel might need to go come out let's see If this can come out, that's actually all one piece. Let's see if this comes out. No. All right, so I know we have access to this because I've done this before. Let me see what I can figure out here. I'll put you down for a second. Okay, so I figured out kind of what was going on with uh, trying to get this um, vent selector switch out. Uh, essentially what I was using for reference actually seems to have a little different configuration this is an uh, 01 SE so uh, it's a little bit different um, this on the video I was watching this uh, is basically a double a double piece of trim and all of it comes out together and my particular car being an SE you've actually got to empty your uh, little storage area and pull it forward once you pull it forward you still got a harness that's attached for the hazard lights let's see what the issue is kind of lift up on that and you slide it because these uh, little clips will hang on you uh, I'm not 
that's what was hanging. So uh, yeah, we'll put those back in place as they can work themselves in place once we get ready for it um, but uh, you could possibly disconnect the uh, hazard light which is what I'll do to go ahead and get this out of the way and then you can see you've got access to those top two screws very easily so I'm gonna put you down and do that and uh, at that point uh, we'll have more uh, we'll have easier access to the uh, switch vent selector there Okay, so for simplicity's sake, instead of taking the hazard assembly uh, or the switch harness out, just turn it sideways, you're done with it. Uh, go ahead and pop your two screws. At that point, this whole frame unit will slide, and I believe we want to take it out of. We want to take it out of park, but at that point, We've got enough room to be able to get in here and uh, look at our switch. And at um, that point, we'll go ahead and get the harness out of the radio and the antenna so that we can uh, get more access to this. As you can see right off, um, I've already resecured with a zip tie the uh, temperature adjustment. And it's right on the top side. Unfortunately, does it look like that's the case on the vent selector? You can't actually see easily uh, where that uh, cable goes, so we're going to have to get uh, better access to it. But once we get the radio out of the way, it might just be able to flip it over. We'll take a look at it at that point. Let me go ahead and get these disconnected. One and. are never going to be as easy being on camera, right? Of course not. <laughs> so I'll put you down and we'll get those off. Okay, so again, that's the temperature sensor side. The uh, vent selector is actually underneath here. Uh, it's pretty much the same setup. They just got it upside down for whatever reason, just to make it a little more fun. So you can see it there, possibly. And uh, so I'm gonna continue to try to get this in a better position. I thought I actually had it where I could see it. I can see what's going on with it, but I can't get it on camera yet. Let me see if I can get a better shot of this. Okay, so yeah, if you keep on working this uh, temperature and vent selector, you can eventually get it to where you can see this part very easily. And essentially what's supposed to happen, let me focus in on that, if it will. There we go. Essentially this clip, I just broke it, but um, that was it was actually not working before that apparently this tension clip here just gets knocked out of place or works itself loose and this cable just uh, is not held so essentially you're moving the selector switch and the cable is just backing out like that it's not um, doing what it's supposed to do and actually pulling the vent selector uh, which the cable leads to on the back side so what I've been doing is uh, just uh, using a zip tie, uh, here we go, and just zip tying from this opening to the other opening uh, and making it kind of tight and that should actually hold that cable in place to where it will um, actually do its job. So that's what we're going to do, we'll zip tie that and we'll test it out, make sure that's going to work for us and uh, I'll pick you back up. All right, so I've got that zip tie in place, and it looks like the cable is going to be held in place enough to uh, exercise the uh, the pulling of the cable to where it does change the selector. So we're going to just test that, make sure it is working the way it's supposed to be. Right 
now. We got it on the face. That's working great. I can feel it on my leg. And most importantly, for safety, of course, you need to defrost your windshield. That is working. So looking good. Looks like we've got that issue put to rest. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you what I did again. I actually put the, uh, the zip tie in on the top side because you got plenty of clearance there. Um, don't know that it's going to matter in any way, but I'll go ahead and cut that off and start putting things back together. And uh, that should hold us. Again, if you're looking to do this, um, I will go ahead and do the, uh, the uh, vent selector and the hot and cold side both. Just go ahead and zip tie them, get them in place, be done with it. Uh, it probably wasn't six months for me, and I wound up having to uh, come back and do the other side. So just because it ain't broke yet, it's uh, certainly vulnerable to breaking. So uh, I would recommend you go ahead and do both sides. And I'm um, going to go ahead and start putting this back together. And I kind of pick you up in the middle there. All right, so you got the top screws back in, bottom screws back in. And uh, when you go to line this up, uh, again, you've got the little white tabs that uh, have to go in their holes here on both sides, and then you can start the screw. Um, go ahead and get the other side in the hole, and then you can start the screw. You can see the screws mostly lined up there, and uh, at that point, go ahead and screw it back together, and uh, pretty close to getting things just pushed back into place. Uh, the air conditioned vent and uh, the cosmetic cover. We're pretty much done with the job. Okay, so you got everything back to, back in place at this point. Um, remember to put your little cover, black cover, that goes around. There's actually two screws for that. Put that in place before you put the uh, storage area and the outer bezel, I guess we'll call it. One thing it was a little bit of a pain was this top portion. Just uh, make sure that you push your wiring in the hole. Uh, I think for me it was actually trying to ride above this and it just won't go in. It kept popping the switch out. So uh, make sure you kind of tuck that in at that point. Maybe be able to do it just with one hand. Yeah, there we go. But uh, of course you do have the three tabs at the top back. So make sure those line up. You don't want to break those. But yeah, it's looking good. Everything's back in place. I'll just re, as soon as I find my keys. Got, uh, love doing projects. Things just go everywhere. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, yep, we got vent. Feet and vent, just feet. Yep, feel that. And then back to the face. 